Hello and welcome back to Jarvis Johnson Gold, the premium channel that is free. Um, it is, it is free. But if you're watching this, you're premium and you're overruled. Part two. That's right. I'm joined today <laughs> by friend of the show and friend of my life, Alex. Thank you. Friend of your life. Friend of my life. Wow, that's beautiful. That's like a cool way to say friend. Mm. We <laughs> we have to address something. If you watched, we're doing part two of Judge Steve Harvey today, mm. where or the series I believe is called I forced I forced a lawyer to watch Steve Harvey, Judge Steve Harvey. One hundred percent of the comments on that video <laughs> were not about Steve Harvey. They were about you being dressed as Peter Griffin. <laughs> That's right. Yes, we which can, I didn't do on purpose. You didn't do on purpose. But I, I I have to imagine it did inspire your Halloween costume this year. Yeah, well, I figured, okay, I guess I look like Peter Griffin, so this is an easy costume for me to do. <laughs> I guess but it gets worse. It gets me. worse, though. You it's... and other friend of life, Eddie Burback, we were all in the same place in our Halloween costumes. I was dressed as Goofy, my dog dressed as Max. Both you and Eddie were Peter Griffin. <laughs> yes, and we didn't plan it. I just walked in. And he was Peter Griffin also. This is the worst day of my life. Well, this is how you'll <laughs> claw yourself back, I think, is by... Train? <laughs> is by commenting on Judge Steve Harvey. Oh, right, right. This episode, season two, episode 10, is called Sushi in Vegas is like the wing of Atlanta. Of course. I'm always saying that. <laughs> I do, I've <laughs> never seen this word, these words in this order before in my life. And I have no clue what this could possibly mean. But let's just jump into it. Of course. Now is session. All right. Let's go. It looks really fun to be in court with Judge Oh, my Steve God. Harvey. We should go. That's a great idea. I bet they film in Atlanta. <laughs> I'm down to, to go wherever it I, is. I'm down to go. Maybe we can get into future, an open Future call. video. Myron is suing his ex, Nache, for dumping him after he paid her a $2,600 deposit to get back together. What? A relationship security deposit. That's just not a conscionable contract. Wait, no, but I see whenever I'm in a relationship, I submit roughly $2,600 to my, my partner. Well, that is the... Incidentals. That's Yeah, that's the normal fee. Right. Like but inflation, oh, okay, it's see. crazy Got now. It. Yeah, it's gone up a lot. You know, if there's um things that you need to fix in the relationship, you have to call a relationship handyman, aka a couple's therapist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that comes out of the security deposit. That's my understanding. Right. as well okay cool i'm glad we're on the same page i'm suing my ex over there for the 2600 dollars i paid her for a security deposit so us to date again we was dating for over two years your honor some unforeseen circumstances happened okay all right i'm already suspicious uh -huh. what were the unforeseen circumstances mm -hmm. maybe someone was uh there was some infidelity perhaps i'm not saying that i'm just mm. saying what were i'm curious as to what those unforeseen circumstances see, were I and i think that's going to be the big reveal here that will be the big reveal do you think steve harvey does these faces these reaction shots in the moment or do you think all they at pause once filming <laughs> and they're like all right steve let's get some faces and then he just goes he did not pay his full security deposit anyway so i'm counter suing for 900 dollars because he never oh paid my god deposit. he didn't pay the full deposit that's I don't. I don't know what to do in that. I'm. I think I'm off Myron's side. I think I was already off Myron's side. I wasn't side. on his side. <laughs> no one here seems to be able to keep a straight face, so I don't believe this is real. It feels like it's so absurd that they can't even keep it together. He was a cheater, and that's why he had to pay it. Boom! Wow. There they it got is. There, two there it is. In. Two minutes and the reveal wow. comes. Wow. For damaging my heart and wanting to date again. I didn't want it to be true. I wanted to believe in love. I wanted to believe in a security deposit that eventually gets folded into the couple's finances because they get happily married ever after. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Okay. Maybe, maybe they'll get back together. Maybe Steve mm -hmm. Harvey will. We don't know what he's going to do. Myron, how, how did you all meet? How'd y'all get together? Well, Your Honor, we met in college. We started off as close friends. You know, we used to tell each other everything. Last time, I believe he ordered them to do something that, like, he can't order them to do. Unblock right? her yeah, or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel like he might order them to get back together. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is my prediction. He's going to order them to use the money to do some kind of romantic thing together. Everything was good in the beginning. You know, we're going on trips, nice days, but he forgot to throw in that I caught him cheating a whole bunch of times. Your Honor, that's a lie. His ex... When he oh. said, Your Honor, that's a lie, he did not have a... He couldn't hold it together. <laughs> Let's see what his defense could possibly be. If she caught him multiple times cheating... His ex-girlfriend actually came to me like, are y'all still together? Because you know how that goes. 
No, wait. <laughs> Do you know how that goes? Uh, she's talking about the the hey girly text. Got it. Got it. Do you know what that is? No. That's when uh, you do something you're not supposed to do, mm -hmm. and then they DM your main person, Ooh. and they're like, hey, girly, just want to give you the update, oh. or hey, I hate to tell you this. Your Honor. You don't want to speak on that? She's speaking very, very, very far in the past. <laughs> your Honor, it was a few weeks ago. That's <laughs> I don't even, I only see forward. I was a different person <laughs> yeah. then. It, I was a different person last Wednesday. Hey. We've gotten over. She's talking about stuff in the past. You say that we've gotten over. Yeah, that we've clearly we're moved on from like. He's just doing a bad job here. Yeah, it's, he's not doing a good job. You can't say you've moved on from it if you're currently in court over it. <laughs> it's like clearly something you were in the moment moving through. Well, he's moved on. He's got it. Right. He's yeah. moved on. He doesn't even recognize that guy. <laughs> Sir. Hey, my That's not even She's laughing though. No one takes the shot seriously. <laughs> you're about to learn a very valuable lesson today. Yes, sir. They don't ever forget. They move on, but they never forget. I think he was attempting to say like a positive thing about women in general, but I don't like the they like <laughs> broad like thing he just did. <laughs> Where he treated they them will like, never uh, forget the Sith or something like that. <laughs> they move on, but they never forget. He's seen a lot in his life. His like it's nine marriages or whatever <laughs> it's been. But before we get into that, we have a brief word from today's sponsor, Aura. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Aura is an app that helps you control what private information of yours is shared online. There's a scary amount of information that can be found out about you online from your full name, email, phone number. The list goes on and only gets worse. There are data brokers who are brokering your information and selling it to robocallers, spammers, telemarketers. Aura though will find these data brokers and submit opt-out requests on your behalf and then they're not allowed to have your information anymore. The icing on the cake is they can even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing lists. I have been using Aura for a while now and it has illuminated the information about me that's available online and also keeps me up to date with my credit history, my credit changes, leaks of passwords happen where my passwords are at risk and I need to change them. Because when a breach happens, Aura will be there to give you recommendations on what to do and how you can protect yourself. Aura's app also features a VPN, a password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitoring, protects your devices from malware, and it's even got parental controls. That's a lot in one app. Uh, but Aura's got it. So let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. Head on over to Aura.com slash Jarvis, that's my name, and get a 14-day free trial and see what private information of yours is out there. Thanks again to Aura for sponsoring this video. Now back to the video. So let me ask you this. What, what do you think changed in the relationship? She switched careers. Like I said, she was in two. She was a businesswoman working in the office. I brought my parents over to her job and everything. And then she switched over, moved to Atlanta, and became a bottle girl. So that conservative, nice, beautiful office. <sighs> Myron, we were not even on your side for a moment. <laughs> so I'm not even gonna pretend we were. <laughs> it's just getting worse. But what are you doing? The woman that I was dating started posting a hell of pictures like this right here. So, Your Honor, I have proof for it. Oh no. <laughs> that, Myron. That doesn't look real. That looks like they took it today. You think so? The background, she looks photoshopped into the background. So he got mad that his beautiful partner got a new job doing I, bottle service right. and then was looking sexy doing her bottle service job. Yeah, like in this photo looks it looks it's like a shot with professional light. I'm so confused by this photo. Okay. I mean, <laughs> You're like, I'm very familiar I'm not, with it. I'm not confused at all. <laughs> There's a special bar in Atlanta I love to frequent. <laughs> oh, dipper attack. Woo! Hey buddy. Dog time. I don't like he's like, we were all conservative values and then she decided to be a bottle girl. I don't know, there's so much that reeks about this. There's a lot of bad stuff wrapped up yeah. in it. Yeah. That's not what I signed up for, Your Honor. That's not what you signed up for. <laughs> <laughs> not for the world to see. Like we said, she started wearing less and going out more. Talking to a lot of people I've never seen before, sir. That's like a <laughs> lyric from a song. That yeah. is literally Bars. a lyric from like a Drake song. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, Started wearing less <laughs> and going out more. Hotline bling. Oh my it's God, hotline it's hotline bling. bling. But I supported it. And that's when I decided to move to Vegas. When I moved to Vegas, that's what like I said. <laughs> Wait. Yes, sir. Myron, you decided to support it, so you moved to Las Vegas. 
No, no, that's... I, 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 can I'm just I repeating what you yeah, said. Yeah, I understand. Yes, sir. Okay. I, I, I decided to support... It almost feels like he messed up a line or something. Like he messed up his... Steve Harvey's helping him. Yeah, it kind of feels like he's <laughs> saying... Feeding him the lines. Yeah, because the story doesn't make sense. And then he's like, oh, yeah, sorry. I'm bad at this. Again, I just thought this would be a fun experience to go through being on a TV show. I was just wondering, like, I started feeling forsaken. You know? Wait, Myron, did you just say forsaken? <laughs> 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 Nushe is in Atlanta doing bottle girl things, living her best life. And, and then he decides to move to Vegas. Which doesn't <laughs> make sense. He's like, I felt forsaken. So I moved to so Vegas. Moved to it sounds like you weren't fitting my conservative lifestyle. So I moved to the <laughs> least conservative place in the world. <laughs> the city of sin. Yeah, literally the s sin city. He didn't like my job. And I understood that, but we had a little back and forth about that. We would go on little FaceTime dates. So he would like send me, you know, a little money. Not a little money. He would send me some money. We would go out to eat. He would go to his restaurant. I would go to my restaurant. Wait, that's kind of cute. Yeah, the whole situation is bad. Crazy. It's really strange. <laughs> but this little moment is kind of This cute. is nice. <laughs> this makes me think maybe there's something here we could salvage. Yeah. You know, I, I get eating meals together over like FaceTime and stuff. Mm. But going physically to a restaurant. I think that's kind of cool. It is cool. Yeah. I would get one of those telepresence robots. <laughs> like, <laughs> where it's like a person on an moves. iPad. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for making it out tonight. I'm really glad you can make it. I know you had a busy day at work. <laughs> Okay, so I don't want to get claimed by, by Judge Steve, so I want to summarize her story. They're going on dates remotely. It's adorable. Then one day he doesn't reply, or no, sorry, one day he rushes her off the phone. Right. Doesn't respond till 6 a.m. the next day, and so she's suspicious. She's scared. Like, yeah. she cares about him. She's worried. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's not suspicious. She's like, what happened to my love lovely man what happened to my lovely man he didn't check in and he was rushing me off the phone this is how like a horror movie start like is everything okay mm -hmm. so i'm just on instagram going through his followers like watching their stories i see him taking shots with a girl at a restaurant <laughs> what do you think steve <laughs> he disappears no contact right she's worried something's happened she goes right. to instagram she's looking where what's going on right and she sees the instagram story true you know she was in a crisis what well, how do you is the story true barely Barely. Yeah. There's some facts in it, and then she kind of twisted and... That's a I, very interesting way to answer the question. He's been on his back foot this entire time. The entire time. He's doing this just the wrong way, right? There's a way for him to plead his case. He's not doing it. Yeah. Right? Like, he, he knows that she's going to come out here and say these things, and he's just deny, deny, deny. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as she tells the story, he goes, well, it wasn't exactly like that. That's like the most guilty, coded... Right. Agree. Stuff you could be doing, you know? Guilty people get away with stuff all the time, and he is not even being a... <laughs> and that's your job. He's not even being good at being guilty. I did let her know I'm going to get some sushi. She called it a date, but I went to talk to a model about a potential photo shoot. Like I said, <laughs> I... Like I said, Your Honor, I, I want to network and get to know people in the city I live in. He's a businessman. <laughs> He's a businessman doing business. It's funny that he says he wants to get to know people in the city he lives in, which implies that it's like a special city to him. And he didn't just randomly move to Vegas. So that's what I did, Your Honor. I went, grabbed some sushi, network, and talked to a model. Wait, the sushi. Sushi in Vegas is like the wing of Atlanta. And I have no clue what this could possibly mean. The sushi. Oh, we're- Sushi we're, in Vegas is we, like the wing of Atlanta. I- I'm, the lore, the lore. I feel like we might be getting closer to the title. <laughs> I it will be a special moment if we if we actually hear the title said. I will I think transcend to the heavens. Yeah. Sushi is a very date restaurant to go to. You don't go have sushi with your dudes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what does he mean? That's an L take, I think, from Steve Harvey. I think we should get sushi after this. No, sorry, I can't. That's not uh, something I do with my dudes. Man. So the thing is, I don't really want to get sushi with you because that's kind of something that's reserved for, for dates. I thought we had something special. You don't go have sushi with your dudes. No, no. Because the chopsticks. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I just hey, go, back, go back, go back, go back, go back. <laughs> because chopsticks... Where could that possibly go? I don't know. I'm really excited to learn. Okay, okay. You know, it's the little whole little thing of.
What is he talking about? I've never he heard sushi chopped, called such a sexual like chopsticks are too sexy. <laughs> that is for crazy. Steve Harvey. That is the most unique take I've seen on just Steve Harvey to date. How many people in the world use chopsticks all the time? So, so many. many. <laughs> you honor. And feeding also. He is projecting this totally different experience of, I think most of the time I'm eating sushi, I'm not feeding other people <laughs> the sushi in a sexual manner. Apparently we're doing it wrong. I guess so. I mean, Steve Harvey would know he's lived more life than us. It's I true. think Steve Harvey's older than both of us combined, which is, yeah. you know, kind of awesome. He's also an ancient one. So over there in Vegas, sushi is like the wings of Atlanta. Oh, we did it. Mission accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Myron. <laughs> He's so bad at this. Wait, but what is that? I still don't understand what that means. Okay, so I have two problems. One is with the substance of what Myron is saying. Two is that the title is, is a, wrong. Is it's wrong. <laughs> it's a miscarriage of, of Myron's words. The, the wings of Atlanta. The wing of Atlanta is a ridiculous phrase. That's not anything. Wings are a common food. Mm -hmm. in Atlanta, in, in my experience. There's a lot of wing places. I ate a lot at JR Crickets to name one. So anyway, wings are around in Atlanta. And so I think he's saying that like, wings are a casual dining spot. It's in not a date. It's not it's, a date. And they're so everywhere in Vegas that it's super casual and it, it's not like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's, 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 I think, where my aunt's coming from. So it is the crux of his legal defense. <laughs> so much so that they've named the, the, title, entire, the episode. entire episode, which has other cases <laughs> if they went with this. Sushi in Vegas is like a wing thing in Atlanta. It, it, it's casual. Once again, not what he said. They're twisting his They're words. They're twisting everyone's words and they made it <laughs> impossible to parse. Not Do special. you know I've never heard that before? <laughs> <laughs> Steve, none of us have. Yeah, none of us have. It's a sentence that has never been uttered <laughs> the in best, the history of the world. That is the best thing about it. It sounds like something someone would say after getting out of a car after it was in an accident. You know what I mean? <laughs> and you'd be like, this person needs medical attention oh right my now. God. We've crunched the data. We looked online and this combination of words before this moment has never been muttered on the internet. Uttered, muttered, or stuttered <laughs> online. It's never been said. It's an entirely unique sentence. And in that way, this is groundbreaking. Okay, so the next day, Myron finally responds, and he does not, he's not forthcoming at all. No. Oh, I can sleep. Like, oh, yeah, I've been asleep. Okay, what you been doing all day? He tries to hide it, mm -hmm. but then she sh shows him the receipts. Who were you with? Oh, I was really by myself, then I was with my other friends. So I started sending the screenshots. <laughs> so who is this? Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, I had a meeting. And he can't hide it anymore. And then she blocked him, which I guess is fair, because, I mean, he kind of asked for it. I want $3,500, that's what I want. <laughs> and it's your non-refundable security deposit, and I have the text messages to prove where he agreed to pay it. You know, to be honest, I'm just, I'm totally on her side. I, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm I totally will be honest, I don't hate it. Yeah, I mean, it's real, right? Like, yeah, I I can't be mad at it. You messed up. Yeah. Pay the price. 3500 won't make me like you. I hate these. Recreations. See, see, this is why I don't think the photo's real. Okay, that's you fair. You know, because I'm like, this is clearly not Instagram. This never exchange occurred. never this, occurred. This exchange never occurred, nor does this illuminate anything that they haven't already said. And they're offering it as proof, which it can't be because this is not a screenshot. And, the, and if they wanted to show us a transcript of a screenshot that happened, like you would in court, I don't know if they don't transcribe the messages or if they would show real screenshots. They can show screenshots. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you just have to properly lay the foundation to get something in. Damn. I lawyered. Just got, I just got lawyered. Woo! <laughs> He's too excited. He does that in the courtroom. I'm, I'm giving you money. I'm paying, on my, I'm paying on my bill. How did you pay this money to her? Uh, oh, we got receipts. That's not receipts. That, that is not that receipts. That is so <laughs> funny. Payment one. <laughs> that is so <laughs> Funny. Oh, that does, don't add up to the number. Thirty-one hundred. Yeah, not that I'm a math genius or anything, but but this is like an SNL. This is like something that would <laughs> pop up in like a sketch. It's so poor. We've got receipts. It's See? a crayon drawing. <laughs> he started paying in 2021 of September. How uh -huh. long do you expect the, the offer to be on the table? Sorry, if we're going with this deposit 
Mm -hmm. conceit. Mm -hmm. You do get the deposit money back if you don't like do anything. But it... (laughs) Maybe it's not the best analogy. (laughs) Yeah, it's not a great analogy. I don't love the analogy. It seems like the understanding, and this I think was the understanding between the parties, was that he was to pay a defined sum, Mm -hmm. and then for that sum, he would be unblocked and allowed to communicate with this person, and not necessarily, as she said in the text message, Mm -hmm. would she suddenly be, uh, you know, his His girlfriend. girlfriend Yeah, moving in. I agree with that. My issue is with the language of a deposit. Yeah. Because that is an implication that, you know, it's something that you get back, especially if we're, you know, comparing it to like a, an apartment deposit. Mm-hmm. If it were called a communication fee, a non-returnable, non-refundable communication fee, I get why you wouldn't, wouldn't get it back. But... Damn. So you're saying... That Myron might actually have a case here. <laughs> I mean, hey, look, I'm not the lawyer. I've been training. I've been studying Steve. Yeah. I've been studying his lawless courtroom. <laughs> did you sincerely want to be back together with her? Yeah, I actually did, yeah. Did you sincerely want to be back together with I him? I did, but I was definitely afraid. Because? Our history. Let me ask you a question. This is, okay, we can see where Steve's going. He's trying to bring it back together. He's doing it. He's the love doctor. Well, it's one... Is the best girlfriend I ever had. Um, Aww. We have a lot of memories together. I mean, we had a very solid, like, friendship and relationship when things was going great. If she want me, I mean, I've done over See, half this of what really she wants. Wait, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Starting, yeah. yeah. <laughs> For a moment, yeah. I was, I was starting to like see the humanity of <laughs> Myron and his. This is why you need a lawyer, okay? Right. The man who represents himself has a fool for a client. Ooh. Okay, yeah. Oh, lawyer, lawyer. <laughs> like Myron had me for two seconds. <laughs> And then, and then, and then he was like, "I mean, I've can't, done over yeah. half of what she asked." <laughs> I know he can't like, help that's himself. Not, that's not good. Fighting against himself. <laughs> Would you want another shot with this young man? If he's gonna be serious, yes. But I don't want another redo. I'm gonna be serious. I don't know why she would think I would. <laughs> <laughs> Myron, I don't trust you. Everything he says does not feel serious. You're not listening because of the past. I mean, I know the that. one you want her to forget that she won't forget because there's been no new evidence of a new and different Myron. There we go. All he's right. he's cooking his ass. Yeah, I was gonna say, you know, a, a Steve Harvey clock is right <laughs> twice a day, I guess. That's a model that you say as a client. You don't do shots with clients. You do shots with chicks you're trying to sleep with. I mean, look, we do live in a work culture in America where. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, is this the wrong? Like, <laughs> Look, I, I do. Guys. I do think shots with clients happens quite a lot. I've reached a verdict. I forgot that he does that. I forgot that he's just like, all right, that's enough. It's a hard cut. <laughs> There's a PA in the back who's just waving. Yeah, at him. he's like, he's <laughs> holds up a sign. This is verdict time. I don't totally agree with the way you did it, but I do understand why you did it, and I wish more women would take that stance because what you have is valuable. And if you treat it like a gold mine, everybody else will. <sighs> I'm so conflicted over this entire yeah, thing. He's, I'm like getting juked right now. Like, <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, cool. This is, oh, wait, no, that sounds sexist. Oh, wait, okay, now wait. What are you trying to say? What's a gold mine exactly? <laughs> what is the gold mine? Yeah, what's uh, the gold mine? Uh, and what are you putting your foot down about? I think it's about your boundaries, which is cool. But then I think there's a little bit of an allusion to other stuff that I'm not fully clear on. Maybe Steve will continue. I Just know. let him go. Just let, let Steve go. But if you pass it out like potato chips, All you right, Steve. My, I think it can hurt my fear. <laughs> but if you pass it out like potato chips, not even two God seconds after it, you Steve. said that. Oh, no. You should stick to like riddles and stuff. But if you pass it out like potato chips, then we're going to treat it like Lay's. And you can't just eat one. He cooked for maybe one second and for nine seconds. Or for like a whole freaking diatribe, he is now l- fighting a losing battle. I'm I'm just confused by some of the analogies, <laughs> and I think I don't want to know <laughs> there what are they a mean. Lot of different analogies. <laughs> there's a lot happening. There's chips. There's gold yeah, there's mines. Sushi in Vegas. I'm uh, gonna give Steve the most charitable reading okay. I can give him. 
which is it's good to establish boundaries Mm -hmm. and that's appropriate. (laughs) Right. And we should support that. Um, And then I'm not going to explore anything else that he said. I will will explore (laughs) the Lay's metaphor, which is, I think, revealing a troubling uh, (laughs) view that Steve has of women. Yeah, because it sounds like he's saying, ladies, if you're sleeping around, then men are just going to go, nom, 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 which I don't. They're going to eat all your Lay's. Your suit for $2,600, I'm going to dismiss. Because you can't get money back from a woman. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot give this man an inch. He will take a mile. It's crazy. I'm like just trying to be a little bit charitable to, to the Steve Harvey it, of 2023. Every, yeah. Just a tiny little smidge. Every single time I, reg- I'm, I hit play and I regret it immediately. <laughs> in torts, there's this famous case in torts law from the 1800s. Whoa. Okay. It's from the 1800s. That was like a long time ago. Um, they didn't have lays back then. There was a case where this woman was driving a horse-drawn carriage mm-hmm. and got into an accident. Right. And they created this standard at that time, which was the reasonable woman standard, that it was different than a reasonable man. Like, because they were a woman, they would have less reason, yes. And I feel like Steve Harvey yeah, maybe subscribes to it, a little bit. some of these outdated yeah. legal yeah. theories. Because he's like, you can't get money back from a woman. It's not Is possible. It's an insane thing to say. <laughs> if I could get back all the money. Oh, my God. He every single time you hit play. What are you talking about, Steve Harvey? Stop. He's been through it. There's a charming cut of this episode where we cut out all of this shit. <laughs> and you go, oh, actually, he's not that bad. Yeah. This is not the cut. It's not possible. That I have spent over the years on women. He's so mad. <laughs> he never forgot. He ne- <laughs> yeah, but he never that's forgot. That's the thing where he's like, women don't forget. And I was like, what are you talking about? It's a bit of a projection, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's so weird. I could retire today. Steve. Steve. You can't How much it. is he worth? You like half a billion it. dollars? You cannot make that joke. <laughs> you ready to make history? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you could be the first plaintiff that gets slapped by the judge. <laughs> What is going on? As does this what will this fly in the courtroom? What happens if the judge, the judge threatens slaps somebody? slaps one of the parties? Yeah. Yeah, that's not good if Can that the judge happens. hold himself in contempt of court. It would be great. I would love it if a judge slapped one of my clients <laughs> because then I would get the case like yeah. immediately dismissed. It would be great. Normally no. Not a thing you get got lawyered. <laughs> Make him crawl on his stomach over the glass. That's how it's done. I wish y'all the best. Thank you. That's the end. That's it. <laughs> Make him crawl over the glass on his stomach. I thought they were going to do something heartwarming. <laughs> we were so wrong. That turned it's like, make this man suffer. Oh, that was like simultaneously devastating for men and women. <laughs> I'll be honest. I did not predict him instructing her to make him crawl over glass. <laughs> that was... I did not predict not that. Not on my bingo card. Nor was him complaining about how much money he's lost in divorce court. No, no, I could have <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I could have clocked that. No, 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 no that, the Vegas odds were pretty good on that one. But I am willing to buy you, sir, an airplane ticket round trip courtesy of the court and start your relationship over if you're in love with him and you're in love with her. That's my verdict. Okay, this is my prediction. Okay. He's going to order them to use the money to do some kind of romantic thing together. Okay. Okay, we we got there. a little heartwarming. I mean, I think that he thought he, he was being heartwarming that whole time because mm-hmm. everybody was clapping and jeering and cheering and stuff. Yeah, say 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 the say the line. I won't I won't let you see it. Sushi in Las Vegas is like wing in Atlanta. <laughs> More beautiful words have never been spoken. Thank you so much, Alex. Lolo, lol overruled. Lolo overruled um, on the internet. Yeah, of course. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks so much for having me. It was great to be here. Where can we find you online if you want to... LOL overruled in all places where legal things are found, including YouTube. And you have been lawyered once again. Internet. Bye. You want to get some sushi? Yes.